Rosie Etta here, also known as Diva Jock. Today is all about cross training. Uh, you know I'm a runner. You know I ran yesterday in the Terry Fox race. I ran uh, just over 6K. It was pretty cool. But uh, now, you know, I'm a little sore and also, you know, this is day five of TIFF, so I'm a little tired. So I thought I'm going to get on the elliptical machine. It's low impact. Basically, it's no impact. So there's very little stress on the body, on the joints taking it easy, but I'm going to work my cardiovascular system. So it just means I'm going to work my heart, it's going to be pumping hard. I'm going to up the uh, intensity here, so I'm going to have to push a little hard. But I'm going to make sure my shoulders, my neck stays nice and loose. And just follow through with the motions. Nothing jarring, right? Just nice, easy, fluid motion. But it's great because I still get that cardiovascular workout, so I'm not going to be tired or winded the next time I go out and run. So uh, it's really important to mix up your training. If you're a runner, you don't always run to stay in shape. If you like yoga, you do your yoga, but you mix in a little something else, maybe some Pilates. It makes things interesting and it keeps your body sharp and responding to different exercises so you never flat out. You always go up, you always get fitter. All right, so I'm gonna work out. I know you don't wanna sit, sit there and watch me on uh, the elliptical forever, but I'm gonna go for about 30 minutes and I'll be nice and sweaty when I'm done, and then we'll talk some more. All right, Diva Jock out. Day five of TIFF. I'm gonna work out some more, and uh, some more parties to go to later on this evening. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna work out on the elliptical, about 30 minutes. You can watch me for a little bit. I'll turn the camera off, and turn it back on when I'm almost done. I promise I'll do at least 30 minutes. I'll show you the time. Okay, I promise. But it's always great to cross train. You've got to do that. Don't stick to one exercise. You've got to mix it up. You know, mix up the sports as well. It keeps your body nice and sharp. And it keeps your mind sharp too. Alright, I'll talk to you when I'm done. So there's a quick start button. If you want to just get on it and go right away, just push the button that says quick start or fast start and then you just start stroking away. And then intensity, usually you can, you're gonna be able to increase or decrease the intensity with these arrows. So just look for the arrows going up, increases your intensity, going down, well, as you can guess, will decrease your intensity. So once again, the up arrow, that's gonna increase your intensity, make it a little harder, press a down arrow, and then you're gonna decrease some of that intensity. So it's usually the components you'll find on an elliptical machine. Keep it simple. Just go in there and start right away and increase the intensity as you see fit. Like I told you, I'd be back. I'm done. Oh, man. Sweating down my back. Uh, I really got my heart going. Remember to, to increase the resistance on the elliptical machine or even if you're riding the bike. What it does, you gradually increase the resistance. It makes your heart work harder. You can handle it, right? You always got to test yourself out. Know your limits. And then once you do, then you know that you can go just so far. And then you push it so far the next day. It's all about just challenging yourself. And with the elliptical machine, there is no impact to worry about. Just keep your joints, keep your muscles, keep yourself nice and loose. Let the machine kind of help you out and do the, help you do the work, not do it all for you. And just let it flow. It's a really good machine. Like I said, great cardiovascular workout. And the way to challenge yourself is to increase the resistance. And you got to push harder. And then you're... Your heart has to work harder, and then your arms and your leg muscles have to work harder. But always stay nice and relaxed. You'll really, really feel the benefits. And it's great when you switch it up. You don't do the same thing every day, because what happens when you switch it up, your body goes, wait a minute, wait, whoa, this is something new. It doesn't get used to it. Once again, you're always challenging yourself, and you're getting fitter and fitter every day. 
All right, that's it for today in terms of working out. But now this jock has got to go turn into a diva and do some more things with Tiff. This is day five of Tiff, and I've got a big evening planned. And I uh, hope that you come along. I'm going to host this event or kind of co-host this event. I'm going to get all dolled up. i got to go. I don't have my watch on, but I know I'm getting late, so i got to go do that, all right? Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Diva Jock, talking to you later. Uh, it, is, it is a great privilege and an honor to present you, I don't know what I'm presenting, but something of glass. <laughs> there you go. Somehow Vigo has made me feel that I am about to be bar mitzvah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never was, but now this is it. Um, and, and it's exciting for me to think that I'm going to get into a Hall of Fame before Pete Rose. <laughs> uh, I, I'd also like to say that I feel, having directed a movie called Crash, you know, the other one that didn't win the Oscar, um, I feel particularly comfortable in this parking garage. Yeah. Um, and now, to introduce the future crop of prospective honorees, a woman who knows all about focus, determination, and going after what you want. With three Olympic appearances, continuing to hold the Canadian record for the 400 meter hurdles, an already successful career in journalism and entertainment media, born in London, England, but raised in Montreal, and now we just call her our own, please join me in welcoming senior ET Canada correspondent, Rosie Edda. So delighted to have the opportunity to present Playback's 10 to Watch list. Now, I think that the reason why I was chosen to do this is because these extraordinary 10 individuals are a lot like Olympic athletes. They are talented, they are focused, and they are dedicated. So, some of them are joining us today. Thank you, Rosie, and congratulations to uh, Ken to Watch. Uh, on behalf of all of the veterans of uh, the show business industry who are here tonight, who have gone through the ups and downs, every up and down imaginable, I just want to say, uh, I hate young people. Um, don't get it. Our next presenter is an operational Oh, yeah. Camera's over there. So go no further on that. Uh, I remember that camera. And uh, yeah. my, my, my voice came and said, Dad, oh, she's recording. Oh, she's recording.